Hi guys, it's me, you Jelly, and today let's play We Heard Gatamari. Um, today I want to look at the collection. Um, we haven't really looked at the collection yet, and then basically it just shows you all the objects you picked up, but um, one of my favorite things to do is to read the description on the cousins. Um, let's see how many cousins we have so far. Yeah, we're already at 66%, so um, now's a good time to read some of the cousin names that we have so far. He's switched up the butts to a spikier model and hasn't been generating much buzz. Ha! That's Ace. A uh, slightly sunburnt cousin who enjoys being out stark naked. Um, I believe La 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 is a girl, um, but I'm not really sure. You can't really tell. Um, Nick, a cousin who eats too much, although he often he wasn't on a diet, he said he gained it all back. That makes no sense. A cousin who looks li a lot like the prince from a certain angle. Apparently he was once so surprised that his face jumped out of his body. What? That makes no sense. It's been a while since this cousin stood on her own two feet. She's gotten taller since the last time, so she doesn't need to float anymore. Oh, apparently that's why Velvet used to float. I kind of wish that she still continued to float. She looked cool as a flying saucer. A cousin who gets in the way when you stand next to him, and his sole redeeming feature is that he never falls into man he'll never fall into a manhole. Uh, he'll still fall in, it's just his head will stop him. <laughs> Alright, next cousin. A, son a cousin with a strawberry figure. She has a habit of eating only strawberries in her strawberry shortcake. That's not good. Although I do the same thing. Sorry. Dumb. <laughs> a cousin with two heads. Not two heads, she's just got two large obstructions. Whatever those are. Uh, her left and right brains are completely separate, but she isn't particularly smart. She has two brains? That's... odd. A lone wolf cousin who likes to be alone. No matter how much time passes, he never goes back home. Um, he's also- I know that he's also into, like, uh, sentais, so that's why he's dressed like that, so he looks like a sentai, uh, ranger. So yeah, he's a Power Rangers fan. Um, <laughs> we don't know who this is, <laughs> but he's good at scuba diving. He pretends to be a shell at the bottom of the sea and a, on a daily basis. A cousin who messes up at just about everything she does. Oddly, she never screws up when anybody is looking at her. <laughs> uh, I don't know. A vain cousin. He's proud of his height, but he doesn't realize that his vantage point is still the same. <laughs> a shaggy cousin. Eh. He is at a loss uh, on what hairstyle to choose, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Ah, eh. but it's not just a hairstyle problem anymore. Yeah, how do you make a hairstyle for your entire body? Is he naked just like La La La? I can't tell. Um, a second cousin who damages things both by walking around, including himself. Ouch! But he's still a nice guy. A cousin with a smell that we find re very relaxing. She isn't very good at strenuous e exercise. Sounds like me. <laughs> a cousin who moves smartly with, with now with wheels attached. He used to have, t uh, he now that he's using two batteries at once, his power went up to twenty percent. Went up. 20%. Blah, blah, blah. That's kind of cool. A cousin who's who's in bad physical condition. He's good at catching incurable incur diseases. It sucks to be him. <laughs> um, a slightly annoying cousin. She's not annoying! We love Kanoko, even though she is kind of freaking out in her picture. Let's get her to do something else. Ah, there she we go. She's just standing still now. Uh, who kicks up a lot of dust whenever she moves. She doesn't move much out of courtesy. She's, she's not annoying. She's Nice! Leave her alone! A healthy second cousin who eats only fruit and vegetables. The pants he wears are custom made. I can see why. <laughs> a timid cousin who's always worried about other people. Praise him and his face just lights up. How pure. Aw, that's cute. This second cousin is like Cupid. Her heart- The hearts on her body change whenever she gets a couple together. What do they change to? An upside down triangle that look- uh, the upside down triangle look of this cousin has been with him since birth. He's been buff since he was a baby! Macho is secretly Chuck Norris. I don't know. He looks strong, but he's actually a pacifist who hates fighting. Wait, right, no, he's Jackie Chan. <laughs> a second cousin who can move through the air on windy days. His present is slight. <laughs> Puns. Uh, a gold medalist cousin who can swim the 100 meter freestyle with her face without lifting her face to breathe. Oh yeah, I remember when she was in the Olympics of 1983. That made no sense. 
Oh, here's one of my favorites, a stubborn cousin who, when he disagrees with someone, he rotates his head so fiercely that it catches on fire. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, did I read the rest of that? Oh, uh, yeah, that it catches on fire. Put this cousin wants to be the top on the top three of whatever she does, but she usually ends up around sixth. Aw, poor Miki. At least she gets sixth. Usually I get in last place. All right. Well, that's five minutes of the first episode, but now let's do an actual level. We'll probably read more about the cousins later, and I already picked the level I want to do yet. <gasps> no! Not you. You can go suck it, baby. We're not doing your level yet. We're not doing your level yet. I hate you, baby. Leave me alone. I hate you too, Mr. Cowbear Man. Pig. Thing. Ah, yes, we're going to do Save the Pandas, because this is the only stage out of most of the stage we just ran past that I like. Um, we've only got one cousin and one present in this stage, and they're both pretty easy to find. And they're both in the same location, and actually it's a very location to be in if you're trying to pick up a lot of stuff. Basically, the gimmick of this stage is, is that you want to roll up um, as many expensive things as possible. You're trying to raise as much money as you can. And the, you'll see why the fan of this stage is kind of retarded. Oh, look at all the hearts! Look at all the hearts at the end of this. He says something really, really stupid. Um, so yeah, anyway. Well, he's already kind of stupid. He, basically, his fundraiser is he's trying to make pandas turn into red pandas. And if you've ever seen a panda, it looks completely different from a red panda. Unless he's talking about those red pandas we saw in the opening. Um, which is kind of odd. I don't think that's natural. Uh, but yeah, so basically you want to roll up the most expensive objects in this stage. So if you see anything that might be even slightly expensive, pick it up. Um, like, yeah, see, popsicles are only like worth one dollar, but like bowling pins are worth like fifteen dollars. That's pretty good. Balloons are not worth a lot. Avoid them. Um, soba noodles are five dollars. Uh, paper tigers are fifty dollars. Why is a paper tiger worth so much? It's just paper. Dude, that's really expensive and insane. Jesus, I mean, seriously? $15, $50 for a freaking paper tiger. What the heck? Let's pick up another one. And I know there's like some rings around here that are worth a lot, and I'm trying to figure out where they are. Like, um, it's on top of one of those uh, doll's heads, like the pink ones. I think it might be near the, all these protractors and stuff. Oh, there's Twinkle. What's Twinkle doing here? Twinkle, Twinkle, little star. <laughs> I already made that joke. Twinkle and OP are, do, are here. OP or whatever. I'm picking up fruit. Peach baskets, $45. But that fruit's inexpensive, man. I wish fruit was always that inexpensive. I'd eat more fruit. Love eating fruit. Fruit and vegetables are delicious, at least to me. Oh my god, gorilla attack! Gorilla attack! We just got attacked by a gorilla! Run away! Oh my goodness. Oh, look at those guys carrying cakes. Apparently there's a wedding going on in this stage, if I remember correctly. Which is kind of cute. Um, and so, like, there's a bunch of expensive wedding stuff, but we're not gonna go over there. Right now we're gonna go to where the school is. Ah, there it is! That was the thing with the, uh, with the thing on it. But there's our cousin. Our cousin is Odon. But yeah, this is a really nice area to just pick up stuff. Um, so yeah, we gotta make sure we don't drop him. Um, there's a lot of expensive stuff in this area that you can pick up, which is nice. And there's this guy over here that scares the crap out of me. He's got huge um, uh, arms, if you can see them. They're just enormous and scary, and oh, we picked up another cousin. We're picking up cousins left and right. Are they all on this stage? No. No, they're not. Um, picking up things, getting hit by people. We're gonna go get the present now. Yeah, it's over here by all these boxes over in this school area. So, um, uh, basically it's behind the boxes. So, yeah, can you see it? There it is. All right, picked it up. Awesome. Um, oh yeah, if you pick up someone living, he says, like, life, uh, it's priceless. So yeah, picking up people is worthless in this stage. Avoid them. Um, what else can we pick up? Like, uh, I'm trying to figure out where that wedding is. Ah, stupid gorilla. Gorilla keeps attacking me. Attacking my face! Ah! Hit by a motorbike. 
Okay, yeah, like over here. Cakes, garden lantern. Yeah, those garden lanterns are worth a lot, man. Okay, um... I'm trying to figure out where, like, other things are. $2,000 for a raccoon statue. Actually, that's a tanuki. Why are you calling it a raccoon? Alright, more stuff over here. Gotta pick it all up, gotta pick it all up. We've only got a couple seconds left, and I want to get a good score. I really do. Um... Bonsais! Bonsais are expensive. I know. I bought one. And see, look, a wedding! Oh, aren't they cute together? Ah, ah. I've been watching way too much Yogg's cast. Um, rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep those doggies rolling. Computers are expensive. Um, yeah, basically anything expensive. Anything big, expensive, or small and expensive. Just anything expensive. There's golden... Yeah. One thousand dollars for those. Ah, oh, we got over fifty thousand. It's over fifty thousand. Um, sorry, I had to. And it, actually, it is over nine thousand technically. <laughs> awesome. I wish I had a scanner to crush. Probably couldn't though. It probably hurt my hand. Finally, it is ready. A Katamari that can help red pandas. Yay! A labor of love. Rolled up by Kinoko. Kiniko. Kinoko. La la la. How many strawberries could this buy? Yeah, we're trying to buy strawberries. I We could say, wah! Over 50,000! And pretend to be all surprised, but actually we are totally clueless. Nice. King doesn't understand money. What did we get? We got a wig! Um, the wig changes per cousin. And actually, it looks really funny on Kinoko here. Um, so we're gonna put that on her. And, um, yeah, I think we will. I've I changed to the little mini cousin without anybody noticing. Well, they probably did notice. Okay, cousin o Odin, what were you doing on Earth? Hmm, you were helping out at a rummage sale? We have no idea what you're talking about! I love rummage sales. I love thrift stores. I love, like, the rummage sales. Oh, wait, I gotta show you what this guy says. It's not a lot, but it's not a little either. I guess it's okay for strawberries for a while. That's okay, let's see. I'll just take $4.50! Sir, I don't think you understand the concept of a charity. A charity is you take as much money as you can for your fund. He's an idiot. We made over fifty thousand dollars, and he took just four dollars. Idiot. Miscellaneous Venus. Oh, look! Of course, it looks just like a golden apple. A golden apple you could have done used to, like, maybe, I don't know, help cancer patients? Maybe you c You know what? There should be a charity to make those people who constantly comment uh, on Epic Mealtime saying, Oh, uh, we gotta help starving kids in Africa to shut up! We could f feed those starving kids in Africa so those people would shut up! Ah! Okay, now I'm done ranting, and let's watch the cutscene. Aw, oh, look, they're spending time together. Double rainbow all the way across the sky! Panda balloon! Geese are flying! Actually, those are ducks. And now he's riding a zebra. That's kind of cool. Aw, oh, man. Look at them. They're all spending time together. They're so happy. I mean, nothing could ruin this moment. I mean, th just look at them. Their life's going perfect. Aw. Oh. Oh, crap. I spoke too soon. Oops. Uh, I hope he's okay. Alright, so I guess that's it for this episode, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Let's hope the uh, Emperor of All Cosmos gets better.